I think if they're awakened by an alarm and they know that the only thing that represents is a tornado, I think they will go for cover. And I think that will cause lives to be saved. The snail would be very useful in warning about a particular type of tornado, those that nobody sees until it's too late, the killers that strike in the dark. On the evening of the 17th of April, 1996, Don White and his wife, Judy, were at home in Ogden, Illinois. We were sitting here watching television, and all of a sudden the power went off. We were kind of surprised, and so we kind of got up and went to the door and looked out and see if there's been any, uh, because a lot of times the power may be on this section of town, it may be off in the other section of town, but we could tell that it was off all around us. We just looked at, towards our neighbors and we could see them out in their front yard. And so we started across to, uh, this way and we got into the front of their house uh, once we got past all of the evergreen trees so that we could see, see better uh, to see what they had heard. And the wind just, you know, it picked up just a little bit. And I don't know, you had, I don't know, maybe it's just that sixth sense or something, but I just decided, well, we better be getting for home. Don guessed right. A massive tornado was nearly upon them. We just started walking and then we started running. And the wind really started blowing. And we felt like we were like the cartoon characters just running in, in, in space. I stumbled a little bit, and then as we got a little farther, well, then, uh, I started to go down again. I said, well, get on the ground. When he went to the ground, he pulled me with him. And he uh, climbed on top of me and held me down uh, with his legs and arms and hands. And he just kept telling me, lay flat, don't look up. Don and Judy survived but their house was destroyed as the tornado swept into East Ogden. A mile away on the west side of Ogden, Jack Hall was outside his house watching the storm. I had a, I guess, a premonition that something just wasn't right. I told the children that uh, we weren't going to have a tornado. It was not that big a deal. It had happened before, and we'd never been hit before. Not to worry about it. Everything was just dead calm. Uh, you, there was no sound whatsoever. And then I <clears throat> got the flash of lightning and seen this big cloud. As soon as I seen it, I run into the house, yelling at the family, get into the bathroom, get in the tub. We took off down the hall, and all I heard was, I heard the glass shattering. And uh, we jumped in the tub to save our lives. By the time I reached the bathroom door is when I started hearing glass break and then a, a loud wind. And then I jumped in the tub and ears started popping. Walls started shaking. You could hear the wind lifting the roof. The house was completely destroyed. The storm drove the garage right through one third of the house and they faced another danger. You could hear the gas spewing and hissing, and my husband yelled to blow out the candle in the bathroom and run. I just ran. Um, I ran until I couldn't run anymore and found a basement for shelter. 130 buildings were destroyed and another 200 damaged in Ogden that night. But miraculously, only one person died. I had nightmares for a long time. I still don't feel safe. The sort of storms that produce tornadoes generally produce lightning as well. And this can be an added danger for those who get too close. 